Hi guys, so welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, my name is Hilda Wambugo and this channel is all about mental health care, inspiration, self-care and fun. Happy New Year to all of you and I hope your year has, is already great and uh, you're okay. Now, my year is so far good. Uh, though I'm feeling under the weather, I have a very bad cold which came along with chest pains and headache, but I thank God that I'm taking my medication and progressing on well. Now, today being on 2nd of January, um, we have to start doing the things that we've planned to do these things this, this year. And one of the things that uh, I, was, I was planning to do this year is uh, staying healthy, that is one, um, I'll adapt a new lifestyle, not new, but I'll ensure that or I'll try my best that this year um, feeding healthy. But uh, I was really wa waiting for the festive season to come to an end and begin something that I want to try. So for the last couple of months, I've not been able to be disciplined with my diet uh yeah what i take and honestly i've added a number or a lot of weight i think right now if i would go do my bmi i think i'm either obese or over obese and so this year there's nothing like pro procrastinating anymore there's nothing like giving up there's nothing like postponing so what i want to do today is on second what i want to do from tomorrow is to start on a diet that i've been following a number of guys have done and it has worked for them honestly one of the things that i really love or give gives me self-confidence is when i have that uh a good body if i would put it that way a body that I feel I'm comfortable with, a body that I I I can easily get uh, clothes. Honestly, right now I think I have less than ten clothes that I have zenyanaizava comfortably. So what happens is I keep recycling the same clothes. It's not that I don't have clothes, but I repacked my clothes and I have like two sacks that I'm giving away this year that they can no longer fit so i'm working towards getting new clothes but before that i want to do something at least to lose kgs before talking much uh, i've been following uh, i said earlier i've been follow i've followed a number of people who've tried this diet plan and it has worked for them so i want to see how it works with me and this diet is none other than the egg diet i don't know whether that's the name but the egg diet whereby uh for a couple of days that you're challenging yourself no no what no carbs no starch it's only the proteins because eggs have protein nani eggs only i'm trying i'm i'm ready to bring on the challenge and i hope that i will make it up to uh, I want to try and do the first 10 days and see how many kgs I would, I would lose. Honestly, I'm not so proud with myself, especially the central obesity, which is more risky and uh, more risky because it can bring about a number of things, including diabetes. So when 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 I sat down and thought of what I would do, Nikasema, I'll try that and see how many kgs I lose in, in, in ten days. So, I've, I've just, I just wanted to begin this journey with you. That is why I'm filming right now. But what I'll do next is to take my weight and my BMI, the weight before I started, and then after and we see how many kgs i'll have lost in the 10 days so meanwhile allow me to so uh what i after after a couple of research from different people what you need are some eggs some cucumber 
some what some oats some green tea and some apples so the eggs are for breakfast you'll use some eggs we said that it's on oh and some carrots so we've we've mentioned that you require some some what the, the the diet that the diet is all about eggs only so you have your items and what what do you require to do for the 10 days so a number of uh individuals that i followed they are taking three eggs in the morning boiled no salt no any seasoning just the boiled eggs and a cup a cup of green tea that is for breakfast every day for the next 10 days and then a lunch hour you can take like two to three boiled eggs um an apple if you're still hungry you can eat a carrot and a cucumber that is for lunch and a cup of green tea if you want to and then for dinner you can take some oats so what i decided uh, i normally take my oats with milk and majority of those that are followed too are using the um, oats with milk though kidogo so yeah i think i have everything not i think i bought everything that i require but um uh, i'm sad about the egg part i'm an egg lover i love eggs with all my heart but not boiled ones i can hate them with a passion as much as i love eggs i can take more than even uh, four in a week or five in a week. I'm at a six in a week, but for the boiled ones If you see me eating an a boiled egg where either I'm hungry or Or what or what or in a pembeles on a kachumbari or something else So I'll really try my best to see how I'll manage them Maybe I can use a little salt in the two yambali to give it a taste Nani season kidogo sana na kapepa which I don't think it will affect it very much. So yeah. So number 1. Uh let's see how it will uh go. Number 2, I just hope and pray that I'll make it to the 10th day because honestly I want to look good, I want to feel good about myself because one of the things that really motivated me to try and do something that will enable me lose weight fast is a number of people out there think that I'm pregnant. Imagine. Imagine. A number they they even ask, "When are you due?" Can you imagine? Again, I want to live healthy. Who doesn't want to be healthy? So those are two. And of course, get my confidence back. Um, whereby I'll be able to hear what I want anytime without feeling like uh, my, my tummy is protruding. Honestly, I've taken a picture of before on how I look, especially on the central obesity. I don't love it at all at all but we're gonna do this because it's 2023 now nothing is impossible we can do it no procrastinating no nothing like we cannot so let's begin our challenge tomorrow wish me all the best wish me all the best if i ever post this uh video just know that we made it and we lost some cages so right now it's about time i take you through what i bought and then from there i'm not sure whether i'll post every day about my progress but at least i can post on day five and then progress to day 10 on how much weight i will have have lost so yeah allow me to take you through the things that i bought one i have one tray of eggs that went for around 420 bob yeah, so there are 30 of them. I'm not sure whether they'll be, they'll not be enough, but if I need more, I'll buy them. And then I have this green tea from Jani, 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 yeah. From Jani, yeah. So I chose this one. It was around 250 bob. I chose this one because Niliona Ina, this one, excellent, auntie oxidant sauce 
that is why i chose it though majority of everyone that i followed up was using the green tea and then with me here i have some apples that went for that five bob each they were around 300 bob yes and then i have cucumber honestly i'm not even sure whether i've eaten cucumber before I used to confuse this with gorget, but let me hope that it has taste that I'll handle. I don't have any problem with eating raw foods or vegetables, I mean. I don't have any challenge with eating raw vegetables, so I don't think I'll have any challenges with this one. The only challenge that I'm suspecting and I'm worried about are the boiled eggs. And, that, and then on this other side, I have some oats. These are not new. I hate them. And I love these ones because they are easy to make. And they do not take a lot of time. And I have my milk here. This is direct from the cow. So I think I'll use this one. I'll, I'll use this milk compared to the packet one. The packet one is Siskiangi Kionja Vizuri. So yeah, so that's it. I think I have everything apart from the carrot. Yeah. And the carrots I have them in plenty. So yeah, so wish me luck. Wish me luck. Your girl this year has to look dope. Yeah. Yeah, so wish me well and let's begin our journey tomorrow on third to what days to which date so uh it's that to to what is it to 12th yeah wish me all the best i hope i'll not give up along the way so minus all these what i understand you have to hydrate the whole day so the only thing that uh i'll do apart from what you're seeing right now is keep hydrated here at home and back at work so thank you very much guys for watching thank you for subscribing if you've not yet subscribed please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i upload it be a first, among the first people to be notified so thank you very much and until next time have a good night things were getting tougher and i was developing very bad headaches and i did not manage the green tea due to gastritis i had a very bad stomach upset and i had to do what i had to go to plan b which was green african tea with an added honey and i survived for that from i think day four all the way to day ten so this brought down my headaches at the same time that craving of tea because i was used to too much tea and it perfectly worked for me uh the main um the main reason as to why i shifted to this is because i didn't want to break this uh dieting due to what i was experiencing with my tummy so the only thing that i decided to do is to use this honey and my black tea and finally day 10 is here and 71.7 that means i lost almost 5 kgs and finally this is the, the result i'm so proud i'm so happy i'm so excited and one of the things that i'm glad of is that i can zip up my 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 what my trousers right now and at least i can wear some of the dresses that i could not wear now um some of the things that i did uh, uh you were to take three eggs in the morning three eggs during lunch hour and three eggs in the evening
No. And oats in the evening. So I only took two or three eggs in the morning. I didn't do eggs in the uh, at lunch hour. So that is what worked for me. Let me know. So let me know down below. Is there any noticeable changes? Uh, what worked best for me is to hydrate. I hydrated really more. Day one and two was not easy, but come day three, my stomach had adapted and yeah, I had already already adjusted and that is what worked for me. So comment down below and let me know, would you try this challenge? Or, and for those who've tried it, did it, did it work for you? I only lost around 5 kg, some lo lose 10, some lose around 7, 8 apples. So bye guys and subscribe.